Hello dear test takers, welcome back to my Grammar for Success channel. I am Koresh Babu, a retired lecturer in English from Hyderabad. In today's video, I am going to give you a detailed idea about the omission of articles. You know, omission of articles means where we should not use the articles. In my earlier videos, I have taught you where we should use the articles, where we should use a and and the elaborately i have dealt with those topics and in this video i am going to deal with where we should not use the articles this item is called omission of articles in the english language okay and now let us go get into the video omission of articles and this is very very useful and helpful for all your competitive examinations and therefore Please watch this video till the end. Don't skip the video because there are so many rules in this first video. And the second part will be uploaded very shortly. This is, the, this is part 1 and part 2 is also there. Okay. And now let's get into the video. You see, definite article. You know, the definite article is the, right? And definite the should not be used. Okay. The should not be used. We should not use the before what? Number one, what is that? Before the proper nouns. Okay. Before the proper nouns. Proper nouns means what? All, what is that? Particular, right? Particular names of persons. Okay. Places. Okay. And, right, things. Okay. These three are called, what is that? proper nouns. What are the proper nouns? All particular names of persons, all particular names of places and all particular names of things are called proper nouns. Before them, we should not use any article. We should not use either a or an or the, right? We should not use any article, right? And before the particular names of persons, what are the particular names of persons? No example, we can take you no know, Mohan is the name of a particular person. Ravi is the name of a particular person. Sheila is the name of a particular person. And Lakshmi is the name of a particular person. So before these names, we should not use any article. But in the examination, they will give you an article. You have to identify that and say that it is the wrong part. Right. And now you see that the Milton was a great English poet. See here, Milton is a proper noun. Okay. Name of a person. Okay. But here the is used. So that's a mistake. We have to say Milton was a great English poet. We cannot say the Milton. We have to say the Milton itself is enough. I spoke to the Sheila yesterday. Okay. You cannot use a or an any article before the names of persons. Okay. Proper nouns, proper names. So you have to say, I spoke to Sheila yesterday. So in this way, these examples are enough for this. And now let's go to the next one. Now we see before the particular names of places. Places means what is that, you know? Yes, Mumbai is a is the name of a particular place. Okay. Hyderabad is the name of a particular place. Okay. Yes. And what is that, you know? Yes, Miryal Goda is there. Okay. In our uh, region, Miryal Guda is there. So, okay, Miryal Guda. And uh, here, what is that? Uh, Injapur is there. A very small village near our uh, location, okay, in Hyderabad. So, these are all. And not only that, yes, uh, what is that? You know, India is the name of a country, okay. What is that? Uh, Asia is the name of a continent. So, in this way, before the particular names of places, we should not use any article. Particular names of places means names of villages, names of towns, names of cities, names of uh, what is that uh, uh, states, names of countries, names of continents, names of bazaars, names of streets. All these are called the names of uh, what is that? Particular names of places, they are called proper nouns. And that's why you know, I dealt with in my earlier video. And that's why some people say, what is your proper? What is your proper means? What is your native place? Something like that. So by that also in the spoken English generally, people say, what is your proper? So my proper is Hyderabad. My proper is Vijayawada. Something like that they say. So but that is not the right question. We have to say, where do you come from? That should be the right one. Where do you come from? I come from Hyderabad. 
I come from, come from Jaipur, I come from Ind Indore, like that, you have to say. So here, these are all the proper nouns or names or particular names of places. So before them, we should not use any article, right? And here you see that, okay? Now one example, the Mumbai is the capital of Maharashtra. Do you think it is a right sentence? No, because Mumbai is a proper noun. Before that, we should not use any article, but it is given here. So you have to remove that and set right the sentence. It's Mumbai is the capital of Maharashtra. Very simple. If you can know this uh, uh, rule thoroughly well and automatically you can uh, uh, answer the questions. The terrorists came to India from the Karachi. Karachi is, the prop is a proper noun, okay, proper name. So therefore, we should not use any article before that. The, Kara the terrorists came to India from Karachi itself is enough and the next example India is in the Asia so Asia is a continent it's a proper noun okay particular name of a continent so before that we should not use any article and therefore India is in Asia that itself is enough so in this way before the particular names of persons we should not use any article before the particular names of places we should not use any article and now let's go to the next one so before the particular names of things Things also have some particular name. For example, Hyundai is there. Hyundai is there. This Hyundai is the name of a car. Maruti is there. It is the name of that car. Okay, it's a, okay. Je, Gemini is there. Gemini is the name of the T. Brook Bond is there. It's the name of T. Here you see that you know Gemini is the name of T. Brook Bond is the particular name of the T. Okay, this is T, this is G, no doubt about that, but this has got, you know, Gemini, the name, particular name Gemini, this, uh, this T has got a particular name Brook Bond, something like that. For example, uh, Havels is there, Havels is the name of that fans, okay, fans, Havels fans. And you can say, Usha is also there, it's also fans. So, this fans have, a, this fan has a particular name, that is Usha. And these fans have a particular name, uh, what is that, you know? Havels. So, in this way, things will also have particular names. This point I want to, we can say, uh, bring to you. What is that? Before the particular names of these things, we should not use any article, right? And I will give you some examples. Okay. What is that? The Maruti is a cheap car. The Maruti. So, Maruti is the name of a particular name of a thing, okay? Therefore, we should not use any article, okay. Maruti is a cheap car, okay. And then what is that? The Usha is a durable fan. And then comes what is that, you know, Usha is a durable fan, okay. And then comes what is that? The Apple is a very expensive cell phone, okay. The Apple, Apple is a very expensive cell phone. So, these are all the names of particular things, you know, particular names of things. And therefore, we should not use any article before them. So, this is the first rule, okay? Before the names of particular person, before the names of particular places, before the names of particular things, okay? Particular names of things, you know, we should not use any article, right? Before the names of days, okay? Very simple rule is there. See, Monday is there, okay? Monday is a day, Friday is a day, okay? Yes, Sunday is a day. These are all days, okay? Right. Before that, you know, we should not use any article. I am using some article and saying that. You cannot say, I go to Hyderabad on the Monday. You cannot say that. And my friend will come from Mumbai on the Friday. Don't say on the Friday. Simply say on Friday, on Monday. So, I am going to visit the Jew Park on the Sunday. No, don't use, you know, or any article, A or an or B. But here I am giving the example of B and telling you that we should not use any article before that. Okay, and this is, you know, we should not use any article before the names of days, right? And now, let's go to the, I would like to call on my friend on the Sunday. Dear test takers, we should not use any article before the names of days. We have to simply say on Sunday. On Sunday itself is enough. Okay, she returned to Mumbai on the Friday. You cannot say on the Friday, but you have to say on Friday. So, in this way, before the names of days, we should not use any article. A, neither A, nor N, nor D, any article, okay. Before the names of months, okay, before the names of months, we should not use any article. You know the names of months, for example, June is there, May is there, August, October is there, okay, right, and uh, December is there, okay. You just take the example of these months, 
before these things you know we should not use any article i am using the and striking it off the the we should not use you cannot say i was born in the june indeed i was born in june okay so i cannot say i was born in the june and uh, yes she will return to what is it she came back from the usa in the may you cannot say in may in june okay yes we celebrate diwali in october we cannot say in the october yes we celebrate christmas in december not in the december so in this way before the names of months we should not use any article therefore i have written them i have struck up and now i am going to give you some examples to make you understand what is that okay uh, what is that i was born in the june i was born in the june can you say that no i can say i was born i must say i was born in june and one more example we celebrate christmas in the december in the december we cannot say uh, in the december but uh, okay so some mistake is there this is a typographical in december okay we celebrate christmas in december right before the names of years years also we should not use any article 1947 1964 or 63 2012 or 2000 what is that uh, 23 something so these are all the names of years you know very well you cannot say i was born and india won independence in the 1947 you cannot say. india won independence in the 1947 you should not say you have to say in 1947 she was born in 1963 but you should not say in the 1963 yes and i passed ssc in the yes in the 2012 no in 2012 itself is enough i am going to usa i am going to the usa in the 2023 okay in 2023 itself is enough so in this way before the names of years we should not use any article and some examples i would like to give you here what is that india won independence in the 1947 no we have to say in 1947 and one more example the dam was built in the 2021 okay we have to say the dam was built in 2021 don't say in the 20 okay before all these names of years we should not use any article before the names of seasons that's very important before the names of seasons we must not use any article for example what are the names of seasons winter is the name of a season autumn is the name of okay a season summer is the name of a season okay and uh, spring is the name of a season these are the four seasons four three is a 12 as per the according to the english calendar we have only three uh, four seasons each season lasts for what is that three months four three is a 12 months like that you know right and winter is there winter so before this winter we should not use any article like this in the winter we cannot say in the winter in the autumn in the summer okay in the winter uh, what is that the weather in in simla will be very chill and cold you cannot say in the winter no in winter itself is enough if you want to say if you want to use the then you have to say like this but in the winter season you can say that in the winter season if there is the word you can say word like season after this uh, name of the season then you can use this this is right look at that in the winter is wrong in the winter season is right then see english is somewhat tricky so you must be very careful with that and here see in the autumn is wrong okay in the autumn is wrong but you can say in the autumn season okay autumn season right if there is the word like season then you can use this okay right in the summer not correct okay but you can say in the summer season see english is somewhat tricky somewhat you know Oh, confusing sometimes, you know. So in the summer, now it's okay because the season is there after this. Okay, and here spring in the spring is wrong, but you can say in the spring season. That's correct. Spring season, then it's correct. So if you say the things in this way, that is wrong. 
if you say the things in this way, that is right. And if you don't want to say use the D before that, then it's correct. In winter, in autumn, correct. In summer, is correct. In spring, okay. If you want to use D, then you have to use the word season after the name of the season. Okay, right. This is that. Now I would like to give you some examples to make you understand what is that. You know, here we are planning to go to Woody in the summer. In the summer is wrong to say. Okay, we have to say in the in summer. Okay. Or you can say in the summer season also you can say. In summer is correct, in the summer season is correct. But in the summer is not correct. This is correct, this is correct, but it's not correct. They are observe it. Okay, it will. The weather in Kashmir will be very, will be, will be horrible in the winter. No, you have to say in, the, in winter. In the winter you can say in the winter season. In the winter season is okay, right? Before the names of meals, okay, when used in general sense, how? Let us see. But before that, let us see the names of the meals. What are the names of the meals? You know, breakfast, okay. Breakfast is the name of a meal, okay. And uh, lunch, okay. Lunch, dinner, okay. And uh, supper is also there. Regular, you know, evening meal is called supper. Regular evening meal is called supper. So, dinner means special evening meal is called dinner. Lunch, you know, breakfast. Before them, you should not use any article because if they are if they are used, you know, as in general sense. So, how? Let us see the examples here. What are they? Have you taken the breakfast? So, breakfast is used in general sense. You are talking about breakfast generally, okay? That's why you should not use any uh, article before that. Are you following me? And next, uh, what is that? What should we say? Have you taken breakfast? That's it, that itself is enough. And then comes what is that? Uh, uh, what time do you have the lunch? So you should not say the lunch, but you must say lunch itself is enough because we are talking about this lunch generally. Therefore, you don't require any article before that. And then comes last one, the dinner is ready. Don't say the dinner, but you have to say dinner, okay? Okay, here you should not say isha. So, in this way, before the names of meals, when used in general sense, we should not use any article, right? And but uh, when you, uh, what is that, to specify them or when you particularize them, then you can use uh, a or an or the before them. How? Let us see them in, the, uh, in other slides, okay? Exception one is there, this one. We can use a or an when uh, there is an adjective or a descriptive word before breakfast, lunch, dinner, etc. Before the names of meals, if at all there is an adjective. Adjective means, you know very well, it's a descriptive word, right? It's a descriptive word. Describing word, if at all that is there in front of any one of these names of meals, you have to use either A or A. How? Let us see that here. Today, I have had a late breakfast. So here, this breakfast, you are talking about this breakfast, but it is being described by this word late, late breakfast. It is just not an ordinary breakfast, but it is a late breakfast. So this descriptive word is there, it is describing this word and that's why we have used A before that. Then you can use a late breakfast, a nice breakfast, a rich breakfast. Uh, what is that you know uh, a tasty breakfast something like that whenever you explain so yesterday we had a special lunch you are talking about lunch and you are describing that lunch with the word special special lunch it's not just an ordinary lunch but it is a special lunch therefore we have to use a before that a special lunch and another one last night i had a very sumptuous dinner very excellent, you know, very, you can say, uh, excellent dinner, okay, uh, with all items, you know. So, sumptuous dinner, okay. So, we are describing dinner uh, by the word sumptuous and that too, very sumptuous. These two words are describing this dinner and therefore, you have to use, you can use a or an before that. And one more example is there. In the morning, we have eaten a very nice breakfast. So, here again, very nice, these two words are describing this uh, breakfast. That's why you have used them. So, what is that? Any more example? A big lunch is a big lunch is there. Okay, big lunch is there. Therefore, a big lunch is awaiting you today. So, in this way, whenever there is a descriptive word before the names of meals, 
you can use either a or an not the please either a or a remember this beautiful rule keep it in your mind when you whenever you can watch it again and again these uh, rules will come into your mind otherwise you know if you watch it only once and put it aside they won't dwell in your mind they don't enter your mind be careful that's why you have to watch it again and again right exception 2 is there what is that when we wish to specify any meal particularize any meal we can use the before that okay remember these two exceptions very very important from the examination point of view and here you see that exception the breakfast at 8 in the morning is so good so you're talking about a spec uh, specific uh, breakfast what are you talking you are talking about the breakfast it is a specific breakfast the breakfast i ate in the morning you are talking about a specific breakfast not yesterday uh, morning sir so what is that you know uh, breakfast or some other days breakfast you are talking about uh, yes the morning the breakfast you ate in the morning so here the breakfast i ate in the morning so here this is a special you are specifying this breakfast therefore you have you can use the before that okay the breakfast i ate in the morning yes uh, next now next you say the lunch she prepared okay you are talking about this lunch specific lunch special lunch or any but you are particularizing this lunch and therefore you have to use the lunch she prepared for us was very grand she prepared some lunch for us that was so grand so the lunch she prepared okay specific the, the dinner we had at the tourist hotel was very nice so we are talking about dinner it's a special specific dinner you are particularizing this dinner because this dinner is not any other dinner but the dinner but the dinner that you had at the tourist hotel you are specifying that or you are particularizing that and that dinner therefore you are using this definite article the dinner we had at the tourist hotel was very nice and then comes what that the breakfast served in the morning is not very palatable the breakfast eat served in the morning is not you know you are talking about uh, uh, the breakfast served in the morning that's why now you are talking specifically about the breakfast that served that was served in the morning that is not palatable is that before the names of metals right before the names of metals we should not use any article right what are the names of metals i'll give you some examples okay gold is there it's a metal silver is there it's a metal copper is there it's a metal iron okay bronze okay these are all what is that names of metals so we should not use any article before what is that these articles okay right 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 i'm writing these articles and striking them off it is because to only to make you understand so we should not use any article before the names of metals right and here let us see the examples what is that the chair is made of the iron okay the chair is made of the iron right here iron is a metal okay and before that the is used the article is used any article should not be used so that's a mistake then you have to say the chair is made of iron right and here the rate of the gold is increasing nowadays very fast you know very well because of the withdrawal of 2000 notes from the market from the from the circulation uh, people are you know trying to uh, buy gold you know in large quantities that's why the rate of the gold no don't say the gold but the rate of gold is enough what is that is increasing nowadays very fast and one more example here i would like to give you her bracelets are made of the silver they are made of the silver right and here silver is a metal before that article is used so we should not use any article right so before the names of uh, metals we should not use any article right a or an or the any article should not be used and one important thing is there but if there is a thing made of these metals you can use either a or an or the. remember very clearly what is that before the names of metals you should not use any article but before the names of things made of these metals you can use either a or an or the according to the need or according to the necessity right let us learn that one also what is that exception is that but we can use a or the before the things made of the metals okay 
we can use A or B, I have just used it there, but A and B, whatever it is. So, for example, Ritu Smam, Ritu Smam bought a gold ring for her, okay. Here we are not talking about gold, but we are talking about this ring that is made of gold and therefore, we are talking about this article, therefore, we are using, what is that A before that? A gold ring, a gold chain, a gold bracelet, okay. Gold or golden also you can say, okay. A gold necklace, right. A golden necklace, whatever you can say that, right. And here, I love to eat in a silver plate. You are talking about a plate, okay. You are talking about the plate that is made of silver and that's why in a silver plate, okay. You can use that. Okay, they broke open the iron doors. Now here in this sentence you are talking about the doors that are made of iron and therefore before them you are using this article according to the name, the doors. Because it is a plural one you cannot say a, a, an iron doors. Can you say an iron doors? A or an is used only before the singular countable noun. This point I made it clear in my uh, first video, in my earlier videos, you know, right. Okay, and now here is it, the bronze statue, okay, the bronze statue. Here we are talking about the statue that is made of, what is that, bronze. So that's why, yes. right, in this way, before the names of metals, we should not use any article. But before the names of articles or things that are made of these art metals, we can use either A or an or B according to our need or necessity, right. Before the names of materials, right. Before the names of materials. What are the names of materials? Materials means, in other words, you can say substances. Substances. Materials means, you know, uh, the substances uh, out of which things are made. What are the names of materials? Now, let us see that. What is that? Wood is a material, right? Okay. Wood is a material. Wool is a material, right? And uh, uh, what is that? You know, silk is a material, okay? Cotton is a material. Okay, clay is a metal. Okay, leather is a metal. Okay, material. So these are all the names of materials. Before the names of materials, we should not use any article. Okay, no article, no article, no article. I am writing these things and I am striking them. So no article should be used before the names of materials. But uh, uh, oh, now let us see that. Like some examples here I am giving you. What is that? All the furniture in the house is made of the wood. Here we are talking about this wood that is a material. Therefore, we should not use any article before that. You have to say what? All the furniture in, in, house, in the house is made of wood. Made of wood is said is enough. Made of the wood is not necessary. Right. And then comes what is that? The market price of the cotton has increased. See, cotton is a material. Before that, we should not use any article. So, therefore, what should we do, sir? The market price of cotton has increased. So, in this way, before the names of materials, we should not use any, any article. But one important note is there. What is that? Before the names of things made of these, you can say, materials, you can use either A or an or the. That point we are going to learn now. Come on. Exception is there. What is that? But we can use A or the. A or the means A or an or the, like something like that, before the things made of those materials. Those means wood, wool, silk, leather, okay, cotton and clay, all are materials, okay, out of which things are made, out of which things are made or things are created. You do not use the materials as they are. Wood is there. Do you use wood as it is? No. You use wood to make furniture to make tables, to make chairs, to make doors, to make so many wooden articles, right? That is there. So, only before the things that are made of those materials, okay, you can use A or an or the. How? Let us see some examples. She always likes to wear the cotton saris. Here we are talking about the saris that are made of cotton, okay, that are made of cotton and that's why, what is that? We are using the before that. Okay, and uh, here you see that, you know, the cotton saris, okay, and here what is that, he bought an expensive cotton sari. Again, here in this sentence, we are talking about sari that is made of cotton and that cotton is also very expensive and that's why you say an expensive cotton sari. There are many varieties of cotton, okay, 
staple cotton or something cotton, different types of cotton, but it is an expensive cotton. This sari is made of expensive cotton, whatever it is. But uh, here we are talking about the sari, therefore we are using what and before that. And then comes what is that? They don't like the wooden furniture. Here in this sentence, we are talking about furniture that is made of wood. Wooden furniture. So therefore, and that's why, okay, I like to sit on a wooden stool. Here we are talking about the stool that is made of wood, okay okay and here therefore we are using the article a before that a wooden stool because a singular countable noun therefore you are using a okay it's an uncountable noun therefore you are using the it's a single single countable noun you are using an here it is a plural count plural countable noun therefore you are using the okay all these things you know pretty well and next uh, children love to play with the clay toys here we are talking about toys that are made of clay and therefore the right and here what is that? The Alaskans prefer to wear the woolen jackets. They prefer to wear woolen jackets because of cold weather, chill weather, bone biting chill weather. Okay, jackets, we are talking about jackets that are made of wool rather than what? Rather than leather ones, than ones that are made of leather. Ones means the jackets made of leather. So, leather is a material, wool is a material. Clay is a material, wood is a material, cotton is a material. So here, these are all materials. Now, we are not talking about uh, uh, these materials only, but we are talking about the articles made of those materials. Okay, that is the point. And that's why we are using A or N or B. Right. Ninth one before the names of games. Okay, names of games. Okay, and here, you know very well, hockey is there. Cricket is there, you know very well. And uh, tennis is there, right? Uh, football is there, okay? And uh, badminton is there. Badminton. Before all the names of the games, we should not use any article. No, 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 no. I am writing them and then striking off. That means we should not use any article, article, article. Any article we should. Okay, and how? Let us see that. She is playing the tennis. See here, tennis is the name of a game. So, but before that article is used, therefore, it's a mistake. What should we do then? We should use, she is playing tennis. That's enough. Okay, they practice the football. No, football is the name of a game. But uh, here, article, it doesn't take any article before that. So, that's why it's a mistake. We have to say, they practice football every evening. So it is like that, right? And now we go to the next one. What is that? But whenever, what is that? These names of games are used with uh, match, with words like match, court, or stadium. Okay. Stadium. They are hockey match, cricket match, hockey sport, or tennis court. Generally, it is there. Tennis court, hockey ground, okay, or cricket ground or cricket stadium, badminton court, badminton is court, football uh, stadium, okay, uh, cricket stadium, hockey stadium, stadium is used for them. And you can also say hockey match, cricket match, tennis match, football match, badminton match, match can be used with all. So, whatever it is, whenever these names of games are used with these things, you can use the definite article, right. Right, just now I have explained it to you, but before we can use the, right, whenever we use them with uh, matches, courts, stadiums, even though they are preceded by the names of games, okay. For example, here you see that last night we watched the cricket match, here we are talking about this match and uh, not about only cricket. We are not just talking about only cricket, but we are talking about this match. That's why we are using this one. And that's why you see, she has met him in the tennis court. Here, here we are talking about court, not just about tennis. That's why, you know, we are using that tennis court. And here they, they had a fight right in the football stadium. So, we are talking about the stadium, okay, of football. And that's why. So, here, you know, like that. One more example is there. His leg was fractured in the football final match. Here we are talking about match, 
final match of football right whatever it is whenever the names of games are used with matches with the words like matches courts stadiums like that you know we can use the definite article before them the cricket match the tennis court the football stadium the football final match see look at all these examples before the names of languages that's very interesting before the names of languages we should not use any article then what what is that english is the name of a language telugu is the name of a language hindi tamil there are more than it is said that there are more than 3000 languages all over the world okay more than 3000 languages whatever it is but here before the names of the languages we should not use any article right 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 no article not but one important thing is there but you can say what is you can say the english you cannot say it's a mistake but you can say the english language if you can use the word like language after the name of the language then you can use this right that's why i say english is somewhat tricky somewhat confusing sometimes not always so here the english the english is wrong but the english language is right the telugu is okay but you cannot say the but you can say the telugu language the telugu is not okay but telugu language is okay right the hindi not correct but the hindi language but the hindi language the tamil wrong but the tamil language is okay so in this way these are not okay but these are okay now i'll give you some examples to make you understand this point we are studying the arabic we are studying arabic is the name of a language but before that this is there no then how to correct it we have to say we are studying arabic you can say arabic or the arabic language that's also you can say either arabic or the arabic language anything is okay they speak the punjabi at home you cannot say before the names of languages any article should not be used right but you can say they speak punjabi clear the punjabi language also you can say at home it is there right i hope it is clear fine takers now let us uh, know about the note what is that when we mean the people of the language we can use the before them for example english is there when you mean this is you no know, when you mean the language the name the language when you think it is a language then you cannot use any article before that but you when you uh, refer to the people speaking that language then you can say what is that the english the english means what the english speaking people when it is only the name of a language you should not use any article before that but when you mean the people are people speaking that language then you can use the definite article here you see one more example telugu is there it's a language when you think it is a language no article should be used but when you think the people of people speaking that language you can say the telugu the telugu means what the people speaking the telugu language the english means what the people speaking the english language people speaking the english language that is the meaning like that all please now let us go to the examples what is that yes the english the english means the english speaking people that's the meaning it is not the language here when it means the people speaking that language then it is okay when it means only the language then you should not use any article here it is not that the english are reserved that means the english people are reserved they don't talk to anybody uh, as they like just now but in india no we people talk to any, everybody and anybody even if they are not known to us that is our nature we mingle with everybody uh, so intimately and all that 
but they don't that is their nature okay leave it and here what is that the punjabi are very kind hearted people we are talking about the people speaking that punjabi language therefore it's okay okay right and here the the telugu means the telugu speaking people are traditional or very traditional people and here you see one more thing people don't like the reserved nature of the english okay right because the english means the english people right and here what is that the french defeated the portuguese the french means the people speaking the french language okay people speaking the french language that's why the french means people speaking that language the portuguese means people speaking that portuguese language okay. and one more important uh, uh, the, the finnish means the people speaking people speaking the finnish language that means the uh, the finland finnish means finland swedish means sweden the people speaking that swedish language so finnish means finnish language swedish means swedish language people people be speaking finnish language people speaking swedish language so the finnish and the swedish that means the people of finland the people of what is the sweden are interested in joining nato right very clear very interesting right 11th one names of diseases names of diseases you know very well there are so many diseases okay you can you know the names of them before them we should not use any article right how for example cancer is there you should not use any article before that aids is there no article before that uh, cholera is there no article tuberculosis tuber no article no article no article these are all the names of uh, uh, what is that uh, diseases before the names of diseases we should not use any article clear now let us see the examples what is that okay here they are given here okay let me clear here she died of the cancer can you say the cancer it's the name of a disease can you say that no simply cancer she died of cancer that's enough right and then one other example millions of people have died of the the covid 19 COVID-19 is the name of a disease. Before that, you should not use any article. And last example, mil, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, what is that? Millions of people have died of, of COVID-19 all, all over the world. Right, dear test takers, in this way, before the names of diseases, we should not use any article. Right, before the names of single islands, okay, last but one, single islands, right. Single islands are what are the single islands? Alba is a small island, single island. Sri Lanka, small island. You know whether the largest island is Australia, single island. Sumatra. There are so many uh, single islands in the world. We, are, we know only some of them. Alba, Sri Lanka, sorry. Sri Lanka and Sumatra like that. So before the names of single islands, we should not use any article, right? The Elba is a very small island. You cannot say it's a single, the name of a single island, therefore not. So therefore Elba is a very small island, right? Uh, Ashoka the Great propagated Buddhism in the Sumatra. Sumatra is a small island. Before that, you should not use any article. So the right sentence is what? Ashoka, the great propagated Buddhism in Sumatra. It is like that. Okay, now let's go to the last uh, rule. Before the names of single mountains, of course, this is the 13th one. Actually, no, no. Before the names of single mountains, okay, single mountain, it might be only single. For example, Everest is there. It's the name of a single mountain. Kanchan Ganga. Kanchan, Kanchan Ganga. Uh, northern India, they say the Kanchanjunga, something like the Ganga. We say Ganga, Kanchanjunga, and Mount Blank, Mount Blank. Okay, Mount Abu. This is short form from Mount Mountain. 
MT means mountain dot. MT dot means mountain. You have to say Mount Abu. Even today also you know, Mount Abu and uh, South Kal. Many single uh, many single mountains are there in the world. You can you cannot use any article before that. Okay. In the examination they give you an article and especially with this you know you must be very careful uh, several times you know questions are given on this Everest the Everest is the highest mountain peak people say the Everest no you know very single is the name of a single mountain therefore you should not use any article okay you should say Everest is the highest mountain peak and one more last example the Mount Blanc is the second highest mountain peak so Second, this is also a single mountain. Therefore, you should not use any article before that. So, you have to simply say Mount Blank. Okay, right. This uh, video comes to an end. Please watch this video again and again. If you really, if you really like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and share this video with your near and dear ones. Okay, if you are not interested, leave it. Because, you know, I am working very hard for you, okay. I am trying to teach you all the best things. I can skip some of them, but I don't do that. I want to teach you each and everything. I want to teach you everything. That is my motto, okay. Please consider subscribing to my channel, if at all you like my video. And the second part and third part are also going to be uploaded very shortly. Until then, bye, see all of you. Right.